In 2021, the best way to get involved in early stage projects is to invest in IDOs. IDOs, similar to ICOs, actually stands for Initial Decentralized Offering. So you are able to get involved in these IDOs via various websites, okay? So I'm gonna take you through a few of them just so you have an idea. So the first one is actually Polka Starter. Now Polka Starter is, as the name suggests, related to the Polkadot ecosystem. And what you do is you essentially have to have a certain amount of either Pulse token, which is the Polka Starter token, or have an equal amount of Ethereum and Polka Starter. So it's normally one ETH worth of, well, one Ethereum and one ETH worth of Pulse to get involved in these projects. But each project has like a whitelisting process in addition to it. So if you really want to um, kind of get notification, then either put subscribe or put get notified and it will allow you to interact with their Polka, Dot, Polka Starter Telegram bot, which will advise you on the requirements for each of these cryptocurrencies. But these are really good for flipping, okay? So one that's coming up soon is one called Convergence Finance. Now, Convergence Finance is a really exciting project. Uh, it's got a lot of venture capitalists in it. So it's got NGC, Alameda, Genesis Block Ventures, Kinetic, AU21, CMS. So this is looking like it's going to be a very, very bullish project right off the blocks. It looks like it's just going to die out of the blocks like Usain Bolt, right? So if you were able to get into this, you would be able to flip it pretty much immediately. So what happens is that you get involved at this kind of IDO stage, you get the cryptocurrency at literally a knockdown price. So they're only looking for 300k um, from this. So that means if it goes to, let's say 3 million, that's a 10x. If it goes to 30 million, uh, that's 100x, etc. Okay, so some of these that have done really well, let me just give you an example, is one called Super Farm. So Super Farm, uh, if you got involved at IDO stage, then you would have been able to get Super Farm tokens for 2.5 cents. Now today, Super Farm is now worth $2.90, and it pretty much surged out of the blocks to that price. So that was 100x, essentially, if you were able to get into this, maybe even more. Um, and, you know, so therefore, this shows you the opportunity for flipping cryptocurrencies. If you get into something that's hot, venture capitalist backed, and has a lot of interest, which you will gauge from the community, you literally can just join a Telegram group. Um, if you go into, like, for instance, chat, then it's, you get taken to the Telegram group, and you're able to see what level of interest there is, how big the community is, and how they're talking about it and seeing how they are talking about future milestones, that'll give you an indication of how this can pop, how cryptocurrency like this can pop. So this was a, a surefire 100x. So it's expensive to get into um, some of these if you're buying now, because um, Polka, Polkadot, uh, sorry, Polka Starter tokens cost about uh, $3.30. And you need 3,000 of them, so that translates to about $11,000. But like I said, the, um, the requirements, minimum requirements, differ from project to project. Sometimes you need 3,000 poles, sometimes you need less than that. Um, there's other ones as well. There's BSC Pad. So BSC Pad is a Binance Smart Chain IDEO launch pad, right? So you can get involved in these early stage projects again, and they are... When you get involved in them, um, literally the market cap is so tiny at this point that you would involve, you would get involved at the IDO stage. And they are just likely to absolutely soar once they are released. And Binance Smart Chain at this point of filming in March 2021 is one of the hottest narratives going on in cryptocurrency right now. Binance Smart Chain decentralized cryptocurrencies. There's another one called Dowmaker. This also uh, does live sales. Um, there's another one called Paid Network. These guys also have a launch pad. So, you know, what you want to be maybe checking out is upcoming launch pads as well. So, Paid is a Polkadot launch pad, as is Polka Starter, but Paid came out later. So, you were able to get cheap tokens in Paid because Pol Polka Starter tokens already soared in value. 
Um, so look out for launch pads because launch pads are what are hosting these IDOs. And IDOs are just really, really explosive when it comes to uh, profits. All right. Now, if they're, if you were looking for ICOs to be able to research, then go to a website called ICO Drops. These guys uh, tend to have all of the upcoming uh, IDOs or ICOs coming out, and you can get an idea of how to get involved in them, what's upcoming that you need to have an understanding of. Like there's this one, for instance, Casper. Now, Casper is going to be launched via a website called CoinList, and this is essentially an Ethereum competitor, right? So there are ways of being able to get into these ICOs. There's various ways. You know, there's not just one way. The, the way it used to be back in 2017-18 is that you would go to the website of a particular cryptocurrency and you could sign up to the ICO very early on. But now the launches are all done pretty much via launch pads. Okay, so you need to have an understanding of what you need in order to partake in the IDOs in each specific uh, scenario. But what I can say is that because the starting market cap when you get involved in these uh, IDOs is so small, like most of the time it's below a million, and what you need to do in combination is you need to use this website here called Cypher Hunter. So Cypher Hunter, let me just use Convergence as an example. Cypher Hunter will give you an understanding of who is getting involved in these, and of course, the bigger the name in terms of venture capitalist, the bigger the explosion when this gets launched on Uniswap. And Uniswap is where most of these are going to be tradable once they are released to the public. So as you can see here with Convergence, you've got Genesis Block Ventures, Alameda Research, NGC, Hashed, Morningstar, Kinetic, DuckDAO, CMS, AU21. So you can get a real good understanding that this has pretty much got most of the creme de la creme venture capitalists in cryptocurrency getting behind it. So if you get into this really early, or even if you are able to uh, understand when this is coming out on Uniswap, that is when you're going to be able to buy as it's going up. But you need to really be accurate in terms of you need to be in the Telegram group of these. And literally, if you want to, there's, there's many places. You can go to the website, you can go via Cypher Hunter, um, join the Telegram group, see when the team announce it's going to be launched on to Uniswap and then literally just get on there as quickly as possible and buy it up. So a cryptocurrency that I was able to get involved in, I didn't actually get involved in it at IDO stage, but I bought into it um, when it was launched onto Uniswap. Okay, so I managed to get this at six cents and it blew up to 34 cents, which is when I sold. Um, so that was a really good profit making opportunity. Obviously, if you if you held on to it, long long term holding or mid term holding can be beneficial. But I was able to make in the space of three hours, I was able to make six x gain with Bondly. So yes, so there's two ways of being able to get involved in IDOs. Firstly, it is to get involved at IDO stage, which means going via the launch pad, or you get involved as soon as it gets launched onto Uniswap. You have to be in the Telegram group, you have to see when they make the announcement live, and you have to get into it as soon as possible on its way up to the spike, all right? So I would say that they typically do around about 10x minimum, um, these IDOs. So if you are getting in, um, try and get in as, as low as you can before 10x. That'll give you an indication of whether you make 2x, 5x, or maybe even the 10x if you get in absolutely early. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next lecture.